What's good people, it's your boy Worldwide Lord coming back to you once again. Today is one of the toughest days. It's the flight day. Let's get it. What's good, people? It's your boy, Worldwide Lord, man. I've been traveling all day, literally since 3 o'clock yesterday, but we are here. We are finally here. Show y'all where we at, man. Welcome to beautiful Santo Domingo, man. Dominican Republic. I have been to the Dominican Republic before, but when I came, I was on some you know, didn't leave the resort type stuff. So I had to come experience it here. Heard they got a lot of culture. I heard, heard it's crazy out here too, man. So we're gonna see what we can get into, man. What's good, people? It's your boy, Worldwide Lord, and I'm back from the dead, man. When I tell y'all I was sleepy, then when I got to the Airbnb, they didn't have a damn door number on there. So I was just sitting out there with my thumb up my ass. Meanwhile, you two were standing around, think of popping each other's assholes. We're not finger popping each other's ass hoes. What we're doing is getting shit done. Uh, first vibes, you know, this is the first impression video. So we are headed to the mall right now. We are headed to Blue Mall in Santo Domingo. It's a pretty popular mall, supposedly. I'm gonna see what's around, see if I can exchange some money, number one. Number two, you know, when, when whenever you come to these spots, you gotta exchange money, man. I know you're probably thinking it's only like three or four dollars. You know, even if it's two dollars cheaper, we need that. We are on Avenida Winston Churchill, which was a super popular street. Um, they have everything you need. You know, uh, it's kind of we're close to downtown. First impressions of, of Santo Domingo. Um, a lot of nice cars. Looks like they may like to flex a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which ain't nothing wrong with that, do you think? Um, they're definitely, they're very um, baseball oriented, basketball oriented. You see, we just left the park and it was pretty lit. But um, yeah, man, let's see what we can get into, man. All right, so I just went to exchange some money. It was literally the easiest process that I've been through. Um, Argentina, it was difficult. But, you know, but it was worth it in Argentina, you know what I'm saying? But now we are at Blue Mall, and you can tell it's one of the fancier malls. It's, it's smack dab in the middle of downtown. They got Cartier, they got Gucci, they got Louis Vuitton. They got pretty much everything here, man. So right off the bat walking in, you can tell that we're in an area where there's a little bit of money around here, you know? I saw cars being valeted and nice ones at that, but you can just tell by the stores that are located in this mall that, that this is an area with a little bit of money, man. They had Louis Vuitton, Cartier, Rolex, and that's a good thing and a bad thing because you can tell that there is an upper class. So that means that the area that I'm in probably isn't going to be all that cheap. And just in my experiences when I've been traveling to Latin countries, I've noticed that there is no middle class. You're either rich or you're poor. So I'm interested to see how that's going to play out in my travels in Dominican Republic. Definitely a dope ass mall. They got literally everything you need. I was I couldn't really find too much stuff yesterday. Um, as far as whenever I was going to the mall, I needed to get a few things. But uh, yeah, I definitely don't got to look too far now. They got exactly what you need over here. Um, and like I said, I'm just giving y'all my first impressions of Dominique Ripoli. Alright, so we just hit the mall and they got some big ballers out here, y'all. People was tearing down Louis Vuitton, Gucci. You got fucking money. He got money. Get it all for him. But yeah, man, first impressions. I'm feeling the vibe. I'm definitely feeling the vibe here. People, this is probably, um, I definitely think they're the freshest out of all the Latin American countries I've been to. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Man, what's your name? Where are you from, man? I'm from Dominican Republic, man. Okay. I'm from here. Okay. What, what's your name? My name is Slinger. It's, say it again. Slinger. Slinger. Yes, sir. Nice. That's a nice name, bro. Thank you, What's man. your favorite part about uh, Dominican Republic? What's your favorite part about uh, yo, Santo Domingo? Yo, ladies. The ladies? The ladies. And uh, we are, here we are so, like, are so humble. Humble? Are, yeah. You think the people here are nice? Like, yeah. If I need some help, like directions or anything? They will, yeah, they will, they, they will definitely help you, bro. Like, take you, like, out, out to the place you want to go, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, man. Um, and what food do I need to try here? What's the, what's the, like, uh, the Dominican stamp, staple? And it's all the way down. It's all the way uh, down. Of course, um, they, they are chicken. Chicken. Uh, rice. And, um, um, yo, I forgot, um. Beans. Beans. Hey, but but uh, I'm going to put you on here. If you got one thing to tell the people, what would you tell people? What would you tell them? Yo, always think uh, positive in life. I like that. Never give up. I like that. Always try hard, your best, and, and you will make it, boy. Yes, sir! This nigga spitting! Man, I, I like that. Yo, what's good, people, man? I had to come back and give y'all a little bit of updated version for my first impressions vlog. Um, I'm really feeling the city. Uh, I got a few, you know, I got a few pros and cons to the city. All right, man, so the place that I'm staying at is lit, man. They have 24-hour security. It's right across the street from a basketball court and a baseball field. Um, this city is definitely very athletic. Um, they play a lot of sports, a lot of, um, a lot of baseball, a lot of basketball. Um, a lot of stuff to do for people who do like outdoor stuff and the city is very busy So some of my first impressions here I would say that the people aren't as welcoming as other countries The reason that I think people aren't as welcoming as other countries is because I blend in here You wouldn't know that I was you know, I wasn't Dominican uh, Or some sort some sort of Dominican. There's a lot of Haitians here. I'm in other countries. I stick out like a sore thumb here I blend in more so you know people people definitely look people look just like me you know what I'm saying you know I got the good hair too I got the wavy hair you know what I'm saying but I would say that and I don't mean that to say that they're not a welcoming you know they're not a welcoming country I'm just saying that I fit in a little bit more now the people are super nice here whenever I was in Brazil whenever I was in Argentina People were going out of their way to talk to me. They were very interested. Um, and they were just, you know, they were just like, hey, what are you doing here? Here, we're close to Miami. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a it's a, it's a, a three, it's a three and a half hour, it's a three and a half, four hour flight to New York. Fellas, the, the women are definitely beautiful here. Um, I recommend that y'all, y'all know I always recommend a gym. I recommend you go to Smart Fit, um, you know, or any gym pretty much. It's gonna be lit for you. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get that out of the way. I don't think that, I'm not saying that people here aren't welcoming. I'm saying they're just not as intrigued from someone who kind of looks like them. You know what I'm saying? In Argentina, I stick out like a sore thumb. Brazil, we got the same skin tone, but still, they can tell, they can tell that I'm not from there. You gotta be willing to talk to people, or I thought there were gonna be more English speaking people here, but, that hasn't been the case so far. Luckily, like what I like to call my struggle Spanish, my struggle Spanish has been getting me through. I've been here for about three days. Um, next week, it's, it's gonna be the weekend, so I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna see if I can get into something. Hopefully I can run into some people, meet some people. And that's, that's the thing with traveling, especially when you're traveling alone, you gotta be willing to, you know, sit at the bar by yourself. And, but you can't be no goofy, you know, you can't be no geek off the streets, you know, you got to earn your keep. So the pros and the pros and cons to living here so far from what I see, there's not one, I would say there's not one set area. So whenever I was in Argentina, there's one set place that a lot of people go to have fun. And that's where you know the, the spot is going to be jumping. And I've heard that that was Avenida España here, but I haven't experienced that yet. So I'm waiting to experience that tomorrow. And another con about living here, this isn't a... This isn't a walkers friendly, you know what I'm saying? This isn't a walkers friendly city. You're gonna need Ubers, you're gonna need taxis. They have a lot of motorcycle taxis, um, but you gotta do a little bit of walking to get to where you're going. 
other cities like Playa del Carmen, you know, smaller cities like that, you can just walk everywhere. Even in Brazil, if you're in an Epinema and Copacabana area, you can just walk the whole strip and you'll run into something. Here, you kind of got to know the destination. You know, you got to know where you're going. Another con living in the Santo Domingo, I would say that they are what I like to call, they like to flex out here, you know what I'm saying? They like to be in the designer, you know what I'm saying? They like to be fresh, which there's nothing wrong with that. Y'all know your boy. I like to jump fresh every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? And in other places, they're just way more chill. You don't gotta wear all that. But I do see, uh, I've been looking on Instagram for my nightlife vlogs and stuff like that. Um, they do have a lot of sections. They have a lot of places where people are smoking hookah and doing that. So hopefully this is gonna be a city where I can just go and pull up and not look like no dweeb off the street. You know what I'm saying? So I would say pros to living in Santo Domingo. Uh, I would say it's relatively cheap, number one. Um, if you need anything as far as clothes or anything like that, this isn't one of those places that doesn't have anything where you can shop and go. They have Zara, they have Samsung, they have Apple stores. Um, they have a lot of, uh, it's somewhat Americanized here. You know what I'm saying? So you won't just be out of luck. Um, I, it feels pretty safe. There's a lot of police roaming around and especially here. Hey. All right, so just getting back to the crib, man. Uh, like I said, wrapping up my first impressions vlog. Uh, love to stay. If you can afford around a thousand a month, you know, and that, that may be steep to some people, but like me, I tell y'all what I do, I pay as I go. So this month, I'm gonna be saving for wherever I'm going next month. So every time I put, you know, a little, if I go to the club and I spend $50, I'm gonna put $50 in my savings for next time. So like I said, it's, you know, it's dirty right now, but I mean, I got everything I need, washer and dryer in there. Hey, watch this though, watch this, hold on now. Hey, watch this right here, boy. Hey, no, that ain't it. There it go, hey. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Get a little freaky in this mother sucker, boy. Uh-huh. Get a, you know, I got to do that every time I do something. You get a little freaky in this mother. Shh. Don't tell nobody. But anyways, man, first impressions. Uh, I think it's going to be lit, man. I feel like the people here are my vibe. And like I said, I want to clear everything up. I ain't saying that the people here are mean or anything like that. They just ain't worried about me. I, I, I don't look like no tourist. I look like I'm from here. I look like I'm Dominican. I, I look like, hey, puppy. Oh, yeah, my nito. I look like I look like I say some shit like that, man. But uh, until next time, man, y'all stay tuned. We got more on the way. I'm going to be vlogging. We're going to hit the beach. We're going to hit the clubs. We're going to see some stuff. We're going to do some tours in there, all that, all that good stuff. But, yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, and turn that post notifications on, baby. Peace.